figured I'd do a quick video and uh, kind of address the drought situation here that we're seeing locally. Um, I'm in the southern tier in New York and uh, I, I don't think it's real localized. I think it's pretty widespread. It just hasn't been a whole lot of rain, at least in the northeast. And I'm reading definitely out west and uh, in the southwest and um, even the southeast, I believe, has just had uh, very small amounts of rainfall so far this year and maybe even going back so far as into last year but uh, the pond here I would say it's probably about two, two feet low um, I don't know if it's the lowest I've ever seen it but it's definitely getting down there pretty good could use a couple inches of rain for sure it would definitely help this thing out and I'm sure it's getting pretty warm as well um, I haven't swam in it in a little over a week but yeah it's pretty warm so, uh, let's go take a look at the garden. So, the only thing I did in the ground this year was onions and pumpkins. Um, onions I need to weed but they're looking pretty good I should probably come through here tonight and weed these but um, you can see they're already starting to get flowers I should cut those off too uh, I went through took a bunch of grass clippings and threw around everything as mulch um, there's already weeds starting to come through because weeds don't really care if we get rain or not for the most part but all these are pumpkins down to that end. I've already, I think, maybe lost one I saw from my bedroom window. You know, it's not looking great though. They could all use some water, but I just, I give the pumpkins away every fall. So as much as I want to see them grow, it's hard to justify hauling buckets or getting a pump out and filling up a big tote and coming over and watering the pumpkins I'm just kind of praying for rain so that's the gist of the garden this year um, I do have some raised beds I'll show you those I will water those tonight you can see just how yellow the lawn is I haven't mowed in over three weeks I don't think it doesn't even need it now besides these little straggler weeds that just spring up everywhere and I just think it'd be too dusty and probably burn the lawn up if I tried mowing it right now so as bad as it looks with those weeds I'm just gonna let it go I think and hope for rain quiet Vigo didn't do a whole lot um, couple drum fulls of potatoes they're doing good but everything needs water here you can see the cukes are wilting right back today so throw a couple five gallon buckets on that tub there got peppers on that side and a tomato plant here really didn't do a whole lot one tomato plant a bunch of peppers you know hopefully decent amount of potatoes there and some cukes i don't need a ton for just me so vigo here Come here, bud. Come here. Come on. Hey, look out. Let's go. Come on, Vigo. This little beeper you can see this is all this manure where they usually stand and eat their hay bales it's usually fairly wet it holds moisture pretty good but it is bone dry right now i just brought them in and kind of locked them in this area this was pretty full of um 
grass and just kind of looked like crap so I put them in here since I think Thursday and they ate it right down so it doesn't look kind of so raggedy from the house but right now I'm going to let them back out on the main pasture and uh, they've been through each of the paddocks the three paddocks once so far and two of them they've been through twice so I've rotated them five times I guess and then I stuck them in here for a few days just to eat this down so it looked better and give this pasture a little relief. It's not terrible, but it isn't that great either. We definitely need some rain. Um, there's still probably, like on this end, they do that. They just love the, hanging out on this end. Even though I uh, put their feed troughs at the other end and started feeding them that, down there, um, they did start eating at that end quite a bit more, but not. they don't disperse it evenly. They pretty much hang out at this end more than the far end that we're walking to down here. There's still a lot of places here with probably six inch tall grass, but there's a lot of places that are probably eaten down to three inches just because we've had almost no rain and probably two months now. It's been bad. Come on, bud. That's right, heard them cattle. They don't seem to mind Vigo too bad. He doesn't mind them too much either. You can see there's, I mean, it's all pretty much getting browned up to a crisp down here, but there's a lot more grass down at this end than there was at that end closer to the house. So we'll just go down here, get them used to coming to the far end and looking for grain and hopefully they'll focus their feeding on this end a little bit more. Give that other pasture a chance to come back None of it's gonna come back though without any rain. I know that. See, there's still a ton of grass down here that they could pick through. Hey, watch it. Get out of the way. There we go. up here and check out the newest calf I don't know if it's a bull calf or a heifer calf but if it's a bull calf I want to get a band on it ASAP because they are a pain to wrestle after about two weeks old 
hard to chase down too unless you got a good shoot to run them through which I do not yet. That's a bull calf. We're gonna have to get a band on it. And look at the bag on that mama. Nice little calf Vigo. No. Hey, you stay away. Vigo? You're gonna get it. Guess he needs beeped. One more time, you're getting shocked, but I'm telling you. Come on. Let's leave them alone. Vigo, come on. Hey. Vigo. Come on. Yeah, it reminds me of like what you'd see when you go out west. Some of those fields you see out that way, it's just all brown and kind of bland. Kind of had a feeling we we're headed for a little bit of a drought like this, and then it, it turned out to be. Um, the other thing I that's kind of been affected by the no rain is I decided at least. I haven't decided to yet put in a food plot for this year. I've got the clover going that uh, I've had up the, over there for a few years. Um, and that's doing pretty good. It's fairly drought resistant. But, um, I don't dare spend the time in, in diesel and wear and tear on the tractor to try and plow up an acre to put beets and turnips in like I was gonna and then not get any rain to germinate it so I'm holding off at least till the ground gets some moisture in it and then we have a decent rain forecast um, going forward before I spend the money and time and effort putting in anything for the deer so Of course, the other thing is when the grass is dry, the cows need to drink more water to get hydrated. So you're stuck filling your water trough more often, which puts a toll on your well, which I haven't had any problems with this year, knock on wood, but um, I try not to, I set a timer on my phone so that when I open this up and I walk away, I know to come back in 20, 25 minutes, whenever I feel like this tank's gonna get full. Usually within a half an hour, if it's from empty, it'll be full, so. That seems to be all right. My well handles that. It doesn't get cloudy or anything if I, if I do that, but I've left it on a couple times in the past and let it run for an hour before I realized it. And the well will run dry when you have that frost rehydrant full open, just pumping water it will run the, the reservoir dry so and then it takes about an hour half an hour before you got enough water where you could again take a shower or flush the toilet or run the sink so you gotta be really mindful of that and if it got bad to the point where i thought it was going to damage the well what i would end up having to do is pump water out of the pond into a big 300 gallon tote throw it on the forks of the tractor and then run it up here and dump it into the water tub. So, or I guess I could, if I had a big enough pump, I could theoretically just pump it right up into their tub from the, um, from the pond down there. Vigo, come on, come on.
Well, as much as Vigo likes to be off and running away and doing his own thing, he can't do it for too long in this heat. Can you, bud? You like to come back and lay in the shade and get some water? It's hot out there for you. Anyway, guys, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know if you guys are experiencing a drought where you're at and uh, where you're at in the country and um, let me know how it's affecting what you guys do on your farm or your homestead or day-to-day -day lives and uh, we'll pray for some rain here at least in the near future and um, hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching we'll see you next time